Hello, fellow travelers. This is Veronica from Human Design Journey. And today we are going to talk about mutation. The channel 360, a design of energy which initiates and fluctuates. Pulse. It's the big initiating energy. And um, actually, it's a little bit confusing because mutation is part of the format channels and there, there are three. There is a format for uh, logic, a format for experience, and we have the individual format 360. The life force of this channel of mutation is a design of energy which um, has this um, extraordinary potential for difference, for mutation, for initiation. And we have the illusion about initiating um, that um, this is how we bring the new. But actually, um, it we are responding. We're responsive beings. We're not really creative beings. We're responsive beings. And the confusion comes from the fact that we react so quickly. And um, then it's, you know, this creative mutative energy, this is neither a pattern that you can focus on, nor it's an experience that you can be guaranteed to live. It's a moment of dealing with existentially with uh, the possibility that there might be a mutation and something new and transformation, or there might be not, but there is always this potential. So mm, that's what makes it unique because this channel has the physical ability to impose new limits or to remove old ones literally creating a radically different order and empowering others mutatively. So whenever somebody with the 360 channel steps into your aura, they're actually physically changing your frequency. So you have to be very careful because uh, it's important to know that being empowered mutatively is either um, when it, this pulse mechanism is correct, when you, you're responding and they can empower you mutatively to change and to move through something, or they can physically put you in stasis. They can block you. And in not self, that can be very um, scary and not nice. It's, it brings melancholy. All the um, three root channels, uh, root sacral, the format channels, they bring melancholy and potential for depression so not melancholy is the 360 but potential for depression in all three of them when um, logically you cannot concentrate on the correct stuff or when uh, the abstract uh, you cannot start and finish a correct experience then we have the 360 which is about uh, focusing on the correct um mute uh, things which can bring mutation and can stand uh, the um, um, the time test whether it is a good mutation or not only time can say uh, something new when they, it's truly something new you never know uh, whether it's viable mutation or not we have of course the gate of ordering gate three at, on the sacral center and gate 60. So gate 60 is chaos. It is a limitation. And uh, gate three is the order which uh, chooses to concentrate on um, what is viable and what mm, kind of um, mutation will sustain. It's actually the third gate is the one which um, chooses genetically uh, what stays and what not. Um, so it kind of forces this channel, everybody to adapt or change or be left behind. And this endless movement from chaos to order to chaos is the nature of the format energy as it always um, has the possibility for something new to come into the world. And time spent alone here, as with all individual channels, individual circuitry, 
uh, with your muse, with your pulse of mutation, um, your inner journey can only deepen and enrich uh, and really be individual without the conditioning forces of the tribal and the collective and without their influence and impact. Mm, but mm, in, in the mutation, there is always something stirring underneath that is not ready to emerge and continues to, to grow and to gestate and get ready in an endless movement of um, pulse. The pulse is either there or not. And the change happens between the pulses in the silence. And this is what music is, if you think about it. In, in uh, individuality, it's very acoustic energy. Mm, but music, it's the music itself, uh, the melody comes actually from the silence between the notes. They give the length and um, the pulse mechanism of our melody. So the channel of mutation, it's the pressure. It's a pressure center, the root center, bringing innovation and renewal to the lives of uh, everybody around them and to the jobs, to the families and to the world around. Um, it is the bedrock of um, evolution, of change, of transformation. And uh, of course, there can be quite some frustration and depression and instability um, when this person is incorrect, when this energy is not used correctly and um, difficulty at the beginnings cannot be transformed uh, into acceptance of what is. Because this is also um, this energy. It's about, you know, these people, they bring so much um, difference, innovation, strangeness, uh, peculiarity. And um, unless it's in the right moment and it's um, responding to life, it, it will bring a lot of frustration and when nothing new is happening, it can be very depressing. But in order for something new to happen, you first have to accept, accept the old. Transcendence comes only after accepting what is. If you fight for it, and we do have in the center, in the um, uh, individual circuitry, we have the channel of the fighter. Uh, and fighting and those people if they cannot fight for something if, if things in their life are not worth fighting for then they don't have the right stimulus and yet in mutation and individuality we're talking about um, being with the rhythm with the pulse of what really needs to be transformed and to accept what is before you can like you have to settle before you can find new ways um out of this acceptance and um not fighting against the flow but being in the flow being in the pulse um because inspiration comes when it comes it cannot work on a timetable and when it comes, it's so inspiring. And where it goes, it can be such a down process. You know, you were all inspired and you were writing this book and it came out beautifully and you couldn't stop writing and it just came out. It was already there and you only had to put it down or this beautiful painting that came out as a result or this beautiful melody. And then suddenly the inspiration Come on. and you're like where did it go so depression comes in and settles in melancholy comes in because you cannot be inspired all the time it's a pulse mechanism it comes and goes and we have to surrender to that process then 
mutation. There is the potential for mutation all the time, but you never know whether there is going to be a mutation, whether there is going to be a change, whether it's a um, viable change, whether it can be done. Difficulties at the beginning. And then is it going to sustain? Is it going to stand the um, time test? Is it going to sustain its mutative potential? Was it a good mutation or was it a bad mutation? Did it bring forward the whole collective tribe or it didn't? So the gate of acceptance and of limitation and the gate of ordering coming together into a quantum, in, into um, a result which is bigger than the parts, uh, than its parts. Synergy. And the synergetic effect here is um, mutation. And since it's a format energy, it is reinforced this mutation. So in, in this channel, it is the pure mutative force under pressure to bring things into life. It's the sacral under pressure. It's this life force under pressure. Energy which really initiates and fluctuates when in response. It can be such a deep moving force. They really restructure the, the whole sound, the whole acoustic frequency in their field. They're huge mutative force. So if you have this channel, you're a generator. You're here to respond to life, to change. And um, it forces everyone else to adapt and to change. And it's as agents of mutation and change, individuals may find themselves trying to give reasons for their moods and getting caught up in discomforting and shadow places within themselves, which they normally tend to avoid. You don't need to avoid it. Accept melancholy and don't put a reason to it. It's your most creative part. Um, it's a pressure to change. So put your favorite tune and just let it flow. Be in your melancholy and it shall pass. Either in creativity, either there is, it's only the potential. Either there is a potential for change or not. Acceptance is truly the gift here. Otherwise, instability and chaos is what follows. And order and um, transcendence of limitation is what mutation can bring. This is Veronica from Human Design Journey. And um, if you would like to know more about your personal chart, your personal design, you Feel free to contact me. Would you like to? Feel invited and we can go through your um, personal, um, unique design. I can give you a professional analysis. Um, I can give you a partnership analysis with your loved ones, with your children, uh, colleagues, and anybody you have, um, relatives, etc. You have... Um, uh, Sinastrial need for sinastrial report for a partnership report. Uh, I can also be of help if you need uh, support with living your design. I'm a living your design guide, as well as I can support you with different readings according to uh, different stages of your life um, or every year on your birthday, three months before actually, or your solar return. Uh, as well as your life purpose or the so-called incarnation cross-analysis. And 
of course, I can uh, support you with uh, guidance and uh, coaching on your personal way of transformation. This is Veronica from Human Design Journey, a 5-1 generator, here to give new revolutionized ways to those who might need some defiance. Please feel free to contact me. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to support me. And I'll be making more of those videos for you to get a nicer grasp at uh, what human design is. And please, guys, have in mind that all of those are pieces of the puzzle. One channel, those are taken out of context. One channel doesn't um, describe you if you have it because you are the quantum of much more than one channel. So please have that in mind and have fun on your journey. Bye for now.